Josiah, who's this? Ron Paul. You're right, Ron Paul. Friends and family, um, the Republican primaries are fast approaching, and I am convinced that we have a rare and unique opportunity here in America at this time. Uh, Dr. Ron Paul is running for the primary. I've been studying this man since 2006. I'm convinced he's a hero. I've read his books and I've listened to audio that was recorded over 10 years ago. I truly believe that if the Founding Fathers were alive today and they could see the field, they would only accept Ron Paul as one of their own. Now, as I discuss these issues with friends and family, I'm often uh, faced with two objections. The first is, Ron Paul, that guy's got no electability. Well, consider this. Currently, he's polling, he's tied for first place in Iowa. And since I've been following him in 2006, the media has declared an all-out war against this man. They're scared of him because they know what he stands for. He stands for liberty and truth. And so there's been, on one hand, a media blackout, and on the other hand, they've attacked him and skewed the message. They've done everything in their power to keep the message from getting out, yet he's polling as well as he is. Can we put this down? Okay. So he's gotten to where he is solely based on grassroots. So if you don't believe he has electability, you're probably getting all your information from the TV alone. So I encourage you to do your own research. The second objection I hear is uh, that people don't, do not agree with Ron Paul's foreign policy. If that's your issue, uh, consider this. Ron Paul currently, in 2011, is receiving more campaign contributions from active duty military than all the other candidates combined. This was not only the case in 2011, but if you go back to 2008, it was the case back then too, on both sides of the aisle. More campaign contribution from active duty military, from all the Republicans combined, and all the Democrats combined. I don't know if that's together, but I know individually, uh, by party, that was the case. Ron Paul's foreign policy is constitutional, and historically, it's the correct American position. If you study ancient history, you'll find out that empire is what kills countries. And so our foreign policy is unsustainable. If you disagree with his stance, I understand uh, your concern, because in the beginning I had the same concern. But please, please do your own research. Take some time. Don't believe what you hear on TV. Go to Ron Paul's website. Read his position. Him, read the position that he presents himself yeah. and compare it to history and compare it to what the Constitution actually teaches that we should do. Now, uh, for those of you that aren't convinced, please do your own research. For those of you that are convinced, today's a very special day. It's the anniversary of the Boston Tea Party, a true day for American patriots. Now, in 2007, four years ago, Ron Paul raised over $6 million on this day alone. Think about how many less people knew who he was back then. But today he's doing the same thing. There's a money bomb. So if you're able at all, please go to his website, Ron Paul 2012, and make a campaign contribution. Any amount. It doesn't matter. Um, also, anything we can do to spread the message to friends and family. As I've said, his, his entire following has been grassroots because the media has not given him a fair shake. Can you imagine how far ahead he would be in the polls if the media actually gave him a fair shake at this. So, um, please, if you can, forward this video, pass the message along, get a hold of these brochures, hand them out, talk to friends, talk to family. Um, we've really got a rare and unique opportunity here, and we want to do everything we can possibly do to get Dr. Ron Paul elected. Thank you for watching my video, and God bless you and your family.